What's this? Well, this looks like it could be a secret book that she left out accidentally. Not so easily 
darkness mist. Behold,
only a two number. Well, it looks like Aunt Marge still is at home. We rave, we rave over that price. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right now, I am giving you. Guess I'll never find out how to make dreams and wishes come true. Dollars. Just got it off the home shelf. I just wish that video tape was so hard. Take a drink of water. Hey, what was that? Here's something right now that is a six hundred fifty dollar set coming on. Seven hundred dollar estate classic. That sounds like a game from Aunt Marge's room. Let me tell you, whoever takes advantage of this bargain, what's going on around here? Only thing I can think of to do right now would be to see if I could look through the peephole in Aunt Marge's closet where. Yep. There's the secret keyhole. All I guess I have to do is just take a look inside. Oh, man! Don't believe my eyes! Oh, baby. Oh, Marge. Oh, Reverend! Baby! <sighs> that was great. Let me! Oh, my God! It's Reverend Copeland and Aunt Marge. Getting it on. And I thought he was supposed to be a virgin. It's hard on my eyes, in fact. Hey, what was that? It sounded like a sermon. Big Marge Bathroom. Your covert activities have finally come to an end. This is your federal agent. You're under arrest. Lord have mercy, what does he mean, under arrest? My god, woman, snap out of it. Quick, get out Bobo. Maybe we can fool him with that. Lord have mercy. Bobo's never around when you really need him. Never around when you really need him. <laughs> it's no use, bathroom. We're not falling for the stuffed goat again. Outside, at FBI secret headquarters. Nelson's finally closing in on Marge bathroom and her gang of anti-abortion terrorists. That our involvement in multilateral efforts need not be open-ended or ill-defined. Agent Snoopy, what the hell was that? Look, coming over the ridge. It's machine gun swagger. Oh, Marge, swagger may be our last chance. Horses rev, baby. I'm trying to get Babyface on the phone now. You mean fall well? I've let it ring seven times, all I get is a reporting. Sounds like a party's going on. At a secret government installation in an apartment complex not far from there. At secret swaggers, special surveillance range. I'm telling the people. I'm going to let them take me to prison. I swear I'll kill myself first. at Federal Headquarters, we were just perusing this special report on Hollywood stars, when suddenly, my god, look at that! It's Ray Chimnoy. But where is he? Man, I don't see nothing. He's just rising up over the horizon. Look, he seems to be moving toward us. I am very much embarrassed when I believe there's no more rights to levitate these large objects. Your hands at your sides, Jim Noy. No funny business. You will be never be taking me alive, copper. Time 
has come. You have learned the first step to super wisdom. Stay away from Aunt Marge. Now we must move into the past, to the place where dreams and wishes can come true. Turn back to the Goldie year. Wait a minute. I'll need my magic ring for that. Things will not be necessary, for only gold can pass through time. Wait a minute, Chimnoy. Are you are you talking about using alchemy as a form of time travel? The final step towards super wisdom. The golden mind. Wow. I guess I really understand now. A golden mind in a goldy year. A golden ticket and a golden tear. A golden thread, a golden tear. A golden time, a goldy 